which industries are leading right now with this deployment in the real world? And how do you see that changing in the next couple of years, next five years, next decade down the road? Uh, outside of the financial industry, because I think we've covered that pretty well with the other panelists, there's tremendous progress being made in, in health care in all different kinds of ways. The vast amounts of information that's being used. I mean, one of the Nobel Prizes that was given out, in, I mean, the Nobel Prize in chemistry this year, was for AlphaFold and the work that was done with that. And the pharmaceutical companies are using AI uh, to develop new f therapies and new drugs, and at the same time, analyze data. There's, I don't know if everyone's aware of this, but there's been a huge data explosion in biology, in molecular biology, in bioinformatics. And they have devices which can monitor intercellular communication. So you can in real time see how uh, you know, a cancer tumor can defeat the immune system, almost like you're debugging a computer program. And this information is so voluminous, it can't possibly be understood without something like a language model. They've also trained language models on DNA sequences. So you can actually get to generate new DNA sequences which are useful for experimentation and understanding how things work. I think uh, astronomy as well, there's all kinds of things going on in terms of data processing. You've all seen these images of black holes and things like that, which is all advanced uh, technology which uses similar types of algorithms to language models. They're not quite language models, but they use the GPUs, they use signal processing, and, and all of this is going to create a huge explosion in science and technology.